everyone i am vlogging today i'm trying to be really quiet because it's so early in the morning i am actually going to get my eyelashes done in about half an hour thank god i actually forgot i had a refill booked in my dad actually asked me if i wanted to go to Blanchardstown shopping centre today so i said why not just take my camera out and vlog it and later on tonight then after Blanchardstown shopping centre my dad is actually going to drop me to my mum's house so i'm staying in my mum's tonight i don't know about tomorrow night because i'm getting my hair done on wednesday and i don't want it to be a big rush of having to drop me back up because obviously i'm not driving down the same when my dad is my dad lives down near my mum i said like there's no point in him dropping me here and then me having to drive all the way back down okay i'm switching to my phone and i just realized i could actually vlog and drive on my phone even though i'm not supposed to my mom will probably kill me if she sees this i'm gonna switch to my phone for the day because there is absolutely no point in trying to bring my camera because i know for a fact that i won't actually vlog if i'm on my camera if you know what i mean so i'm just going now to get my eyelashes done i literally can't wait because there was a lot of crying over Christmas, okay, girls? We're not gonna lie. And my eyelashes need to be done in the worst way possible. Like, I mean, oh, I hit the fence. I always do that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, my eyelashes need to be done in the worst way possible. So I'm so happy. I actually forgot I had this appointment. Here is honestly amazing, girls. If you are looking for someone to do your eyelashes, she is honestly just the best she's the only person i've ever gone to and she's the only person i will ever go to she's honestly just amazing she is based in Enniscorry, so if anyone is willing to travel then do because she is honestly just that amazing oh my god i can't believe i can actually vlog with my phone because i have one of those car mounts it's actually school time now it's like 25 to um nine so I'm just hoping I don't get caught in traffic. I usually leave early enough that I won't, but for some reason I feel today I will be caught in traffic. So love that for me. Ooh, nearly crashed. <laughs> I am just back in the car now. Look at my eyelashes. Oh my god, Kira does such a good job every time. I'm just waiting for my dad. He should be here in a minute though, because it's 10 o'clock now. Um, can I just say, people? that my camera flips everything so i look like i drive a left hand drive whenever i'm like like sitting on this side of my car for some reason i look like like right now i am at my steering wheel i'm on the right side but like when you see this i'll probably look like i'm on the left side i don't know maybe it's different with my phone but my camera does that so like whenever i'm using my camera i mean and i'm in the car i i look like i'm sitting on this side my dad has just gone into the shop we actually went to dundrum we didn't even go to blanchardstown i got my dream bag today i could actually cry now my dad bought it for me <laughs> he's seen me looking at it and he was like no i asked you to come this is your day out i want i want to buy you something um and like i kept saying no like i i'm not letting you buy this let me buy it like i will pay for it myself blah 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 i didn't even plan on buying a bag today and he was like holly i am buying it for you i can't believe it I actually want to cry. I cannot believe he bought me that bag. I will have a little haul, obviously, at the end of this video. I'm so excited to show you what I got. I got, went into Lush because John got me Snow Fairy for Christmas. And I wanted to see, did they have any more left? They only had the candles and the body spray. So I got um, both of them. But I will show you later on. Can I just say, I feel like the world's luckiest girl right now. <laughs> that i am about to show you my dream bag lads i look fucking massive but um i'm just in my mom's now just in case you're wondering about the background and i'm back on my camera oh, i went to lush i went to boots i went to brown thomas we went into hollister the only places i really got stuff from was lush and boots so in lush if you've seen my what i got for christmas you see that my brother actually bought me the snow fairy gift set girls it smells unreal and now i understand why everyone goes on about it so much 
so when i was in there i just picked up the mini lush snow fairy candle look at that oh my god it smells unreal the bigger one was like 35 euro and for the smaller one it was only 15 so i said i'll just get the small one and then i picked up the snow fairy body spray oh my god look at that packaging like i am a sucker for packaging i then popped into boots i actually had a gift card left over from christmas this cleanser is unbelievable this is the clinique take the day off i got the big size i had had two minis before i think i picked one up in galway and then i can't remember where i got the other one i think it might have been waterford this is basically just a balm and you take a little bit of it rub it on your face and when i say this literally melts your makeup off it is so worth the money i think that might have been 35 and then this i have wanted this for so long laura mercier translucent powder is my favorite don't get me wrong but i really want to try this everyone says this is unreal this is the hoodie beauty easy bake translucent powder i got mine in the shade cupcake because the like translucent ver version looked extremely white like too white like as if you'd have like a really white cast under your eyes here is what the packaging is like and that's the type of color i got it's kind of a light um peachy color so i literally cannot wait to try that i just ran into eason's then as well and i actually just picked up it ends with us by colleen hoover because when i asked for the for the one i have for christmas it's actually the second one and everyone was commenting on my video like oh my god do not read that until you read the first one and Grania, uh my friend told me she had it and she would give it to me but when i seen it there i just said oh my god i'm gonna buy it because i'm staying at my mom's tonight so i want to start reading it tonight okay before i show you my bag i want to show you what else i got in brown thomas i picked up the refi brow sculpt in yes yeah, in the shade clear everyone talks about this so i was like i'm gonna have to get it it was 20 euro but i know it, it is on obviously more of a high-end product these next two things oh my god i'm so excited that i got my hands on them they had loads of them in brown thomas this is the brazilian boom boom cream i just got the kind of smaller version because obviously i don't know if i even like it the smaller version was 21 euro the big one was like 40 euro so i was like just try the small one it's enough and then i just got this i think this is the medium size one of this this is the brazilian crush uh, pistachio and salted caramel body body and hair fragrance mist and this was 22 i am so excited to try these everyone goes on about these all the time so like when i say i literally can't wait i sprayed the tester oh yeah what's it called sol de janeiro or something but um i sprayed the tester and even on the way home in the car I could still smell it. I can't smell it now, but that's because I'm after spraying that Lush stuff. But let me spray it a small bit. Oh my god, why does that just smell like you're on holidays or something? Like actually being by a pool. Okay, let's smell it. I actually love this yellow packaging. oh my god now they're a bit scabby because half the fucking thing is empty but that smells unreal okay so that is all the other little bits i got now it is time for the big one ah, i can't believe i got this yeah i could actually cry at the fact that i got this i was i was actually gonna buy it for myself right me and my dad went into brown thomas and we were looking and then my dad was like oh let's just go and come back and i was like yeah good idea because i knew i wanted to get those soul de Janeiro stuff and i knew i wanted to have a look in the makeup section in brown thomas so i said no let's go and come back to brown thomas last and he was like yeah that's fine and i seen this purple letter one right and it was like 400 euro and i was like oh like i really like it but when i seen it was 400 euro, i was like oh my god no i'm not getting that that's way too dear and then when we went back in the second time i actually have a fake mark jacobs tote bag here it is i actually have all my stuff in it for tonight here it is the black one it literally just says the tote bag and i loved it so much that i said to myself no like when i do like have a few spare coins lying around 
I will buy a real one because I use it every day and it's brilliant. So I was kind of looking at the leather ones and there was a leather one and it was kind of half leather, half canvas. The straps on it were leather, but the like body of the bag was canvas and it said like, obviously it said the tote bag, but then it said Marc Jacobs all around the bag in like little print. I absolutely loved that one and it was 300 euro and in my head I was like, do I want to spend 300 euro on a handbag? Like realistically. And then I was like, oh, tossing and turning and back and forth. And then I seen this one. And this is literally just a canvas one. And it was only, no, I say only. It's still a lot of money, don't get me wrong. It was €195. Euro. And I was like, what? Like, the fact that it started with the number one, I was like. I know, like, you might as well say it was 200 Because, like, 95 like, a fiver. Like, what's that going to get you? Not really. But let me just show you. Here she is in all her glory. It comes in a plastic bag. And I'm just gonna open it up. Okay, here it is. Look at this bag. Oh my god, can I just say first of all, I know it probably looks the very same as my fake one, but instantly the quality is like 10 times better. Um and obviously it just has the little Marc Jacobs logo on the back and on the front. How cute is this? <laughs> it's the smallest um, size. I don't want to open too much because I want to actually show my mum. There's the tag on it. How cute. And I just said I'm better off to get a canvas one than to get a leather one. Because obviously if I'm using it every single day I feel like this is more of a... It's just a better everyday bag. Like, I feel like the leather will just get scuffed. But here is the comparison between the two bags. You can clearly tell which one is real and which one isn't. The fake one is actually a lot bigger than the real one. And then the real one on the back, I know it's kind of crumbled from being in bag, has that kind of tag with the information on the back of it. And then the fake one doesn't. Obviously the real one says Marc Jacobs on it, the fake one doesn't. I could have cried. When I got that and it was actually funny because I was kind of humming and hawing, humming and hawing and I made it up in my mind that I was going to get it and I was with my dad and my dad was like actually do you know what I'm getting it for you and I was like no you're not like I'll buy it myself like there's no problem and he was like no I want to do this I want to treat you so my dad actually bought it for me so like how cute I absolutely love these small little ones I think they're so nice obviously when I have it like filled with stuff it'll kind of sit a little bit better and obviously then it just comes with the long strap oh my god stop i can't get over this bag i am just i'm in love i just want to say that i am obviously not bragging in any way shape or form i feel so so lucky that my dad was able to buy that bag for me like i can't believe i honestly still can't believe i actually own one i am in love with it and it will get so much use because like i said i got a canvas one so it can be my everyday handbag i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope it's not too short because i didn't actually film really that much in dundrum please like share comment and subscribe see you in my next one